Trust me, I know what I'm doing. One million dollars, it will kill her. Details later. Have a nice day. One million dollars. Good lord. By the way, sir, your home security guard is in critical condition. Oh, the poor man. He's like an employee to me. We're at the scene of a liquor store robbery that was thwarted by the man beside me, Inspector Sledgehammer. Inspector Hammer, tell us what happened. Well, miss, I was in this store when two thugs entered and threatened the owner with shotguns. At that time, I drew my magnum and killed them both. Then I bought some eggs and some milk and some of those little cocktail weenies. Inspector Hammer, was what you did in the store absolutely necessary? Oh, yes. I had no groceries at all. This sledgehammer. Who is he? A menace. He used to fire warning shots at Jay Walker's. Now, after this liquor store incident, I placed him on six months suspension with orders not to leave his apartment. But well, take him off suspension and put him on this case. But Mr. Mayor, rumor has it that this man talks to his gun like it was a person this isn't open for discussion this is an order i want sledgehammer down you hear that i'm off suspension looks like they can't keep a good man down huh or me either took my money. Stand away from it. No! Hammer! In my office right now! What the hell did I tell you about buying your gun inside, Hammer? Oh, uh, you 
you said uh, don't don't do it. You damn right I told you not to do it. And take off those damn sunglasses when I'm talking to you. What sunglasses? I said take them off. You couldn't resist it, could you, Hammer? You couldn't resist blowing up a building on your way to work this morning, could you, Hammer? Look, the only way to fight criminals is to be, you know, wilder than there. <laughs> I mean, that's my method. I feel a migraine coming on. There's, there's a migraine here. Captain, I feel that the reason you keep getting these headaches is your neck is out of line. What you need is a chiropractic adjustment. Ah! <laughs> you sadistic, depraved, bloodthirsty, barbaric! Is that why you called me in here to shower me with compliments? No! I suppose you heard what happened to the mayor's daughter? Nope. What's the matter with you, Hammer? Don't you read the papers? No, I prefer to get my information from more reliable sources like rumor and small children. She was kidnapped last night from the mayor's own home. And you have been personally requested to head up the investigation into the manor. Requested, really? By whom? By me. I'm impressed with the way you get results, Hammer. Chief Reisner told me once you obtained information from a suspect by tying him to the back of your car and dragging him through half the city. No, that's bunk. Half the city, no. We never left the parking lot. Chief, I find this man perfectly rational. Anybody mind if I smoke? Oh, you light a cigarette in front of me, sir. You know what you get? Oh, no! A stick of gum. The Surgeon General has determined that cigarette smoking is very bad for your health. Why don't you just quit? Pardon me. Ah, detective, please come in. Gentlemen, meet Detective Dory Duro. There is no one more knowledgeable in her field. What's that, arranging things in alphabetical order? Hammer, I'm warning you. It's all right, Captain. My background in terrorist psychology and defense tactics should hold its own against any joke. The voice of the man who called with the ransom note tip was put on tape. The voice belongs to the leader of a clandestine terrorist group known as the AVON. Avon? Ding dong. The Allied Violent Defense Network. Could we kill the lights, please? Keep that gun in your holster, Hammer. This is the symbol of the organization. I feel it speaks for itself. This is the leader of the group, Weird Willard Luxley. Luxley's family was so certain their son would turn out rotten, they put him up for adoption three years before he was born. This is Feliz Navidad, a fiery Latin revolutionary who illegally entered this country by posing as Julio Iglesias. Lastly, we have former member Kurt Krugel, a despicable pervert. First arrested five years ago for making love to a fire hydrant. An additional charge was brought against Krugel for parking in front of it. Could we have the lights, please? Well, I've heard enough. I'll just find Krugel and torture him and get him to tell me where the other scum suckers are hiding. I don't care what methods you use, Hammer. Just bring back my daughter. I will, sir. Get her alive. But the point is to bring her back alive, Hammer. Oh, All right, no, alive, of course. Why else would I say dead? No, no, I don't know where my head's at. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sledge, it's my idea that you and um, Duro would uh, sort of team up on this case. She's a, she's a woman, sir. No, I mean, she's a woman. She's a... Look at her. She's a woman, sir. She's clearly a woman, right? With all due respect. Look, I'm not going to partner with a woman. You will partner with Pia Zadora if the chief asks you to. Do you understand that? The only partner I need is my amigo right here. I told you to put that... Ah! 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 Sorry, Captain. That was reflex. 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 Okay. <laughs> Come on, lady. That man... Makes Rambo look like Pee Wee Herman. Well, I take it you're driving. You better start searching for Krugel. All right, look, lady. As long as we're stuck together, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm the guy, all right? I'm the man. I'm the guy. And I call the shots. Got it? I call the shots, and I fire the shots. Comprehendo? 
And don't tell me, I bet you think all women should be barefoot and pregnant, right? No, I encourage women to wear shoes. <laughs> Look, why don't you just drop this adolescent macho cop act of yours? It's humanly impossible for anyone to be as nihilistic as you're pretending to be. Take a lesson. We're in front of City Hall. You want to be taken in for police brutality? What a... All right. All right. I'm not even going to touch the sea urchin. Stand back, Darrow. So, big shot. Time to pick on somebody your own size. Punch yourself in the mouth. What? You heard me. Punch yourself in the mouth. Right now, it's an order. Oh, come on. Harder than that. I'm, otherwise, I'm going to do it. I'm telling you. All right, that was nice. Now slug yourself in the stomach. All right, look, I'm running out of time. Uh, just finish yourself off. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. All right, Darrow, let's scour the seamy side of this city and find ourselves a sleaze ball by the name of Krugel. Ah! Oh, I recommend you invest in company industrial at Jimmy Shore. license as his van. Girls, wait in the car. Yeah, I'm with you. Look, you're gonna get me killed, aren't you? I'm a cop, not some school mom. All right, just make sure nobody comes in after me, okay? <laughs> okay, ladies, wait in the john. They, uh, they, uh, don't speak English. Okay, Flieger, get in the van to Opatua. You spoke perfect Swedish. Those are the only words I know. All right, look, I'm a cop. My name is Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer? <coughs> All right, come on, I'm taking you in for questioning. Wait, come on. I, I, I gotta put some clothes on first. Well, go ahead and do it. Could you turn around? Please. I'm modest. <laughs> okay, I'm decent now, you stinking cop. <laughs> Always keep a gun on you when you're getting a massage? Yeah, how else is a creep like me gonna get a woman to even give him one? All right, drop the piece, huh? Slowly. Darrow, that was excessively violent and completely unnecessary. I loved it. It was poetry in motion. Thank you. I was top of my class in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'd like to fight you sometime, Darrow. You're on. So, uh, who do you think the cowboy is? Oh, he's the manager. Good friend of mine. Let's get out of here before he wakes up. All right, troublemaker, let's go. These were a Christmas gift. <sighs> in here. I have some hot coffee or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Duro, pass me the hot coffee, would you? Yeah. It is cold in here. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to give you a cup. Oh, I'm sorry, Krugel. What are you doing, Hammer? You did that on purpose. You can't do that, man. I got my right. Listen, Creep. Look. I'm Inspector Sledgehammer, and I don't give a damn about the rights of criminals. The only rights I'm interested in defending are the rights of... 
American citizens. Shut up! Don't confuse me. I ain't telling you pigs nothing. <laughs> okay, slimeball. I'm taking you to the circus. The circus? I never been to the circus before. <laughs> prejudiced against computers that's how i met my wife in a computer dating service you're married hammer was married now nah, she ran off about three years ago ran off with some geek member of the peace corps said he was more sensitive than me can you believe that oh my god well you know some women just can't take being married to a cop i don't know i guess some women just can't take being married to a cop she was always accusing me of bringing my work home with me, you know? She just didn't understand, you know? I don't, you don't leave it at the office. I'm a cop. I'm a cop. Yeah, everybody wants results, but, you know, nobody's willing to do it. Nobody's willing to take the action. All the other cops are wusses, except me. I can't let my guard down for one minute. Hammer. You just did. Punch up the mayor's personal finances, will you? I'll bet the perpetrator is a member of his immediate family. Well, that only leaves the mayor's wife, which is highly unlikely. She's one of the most respected women in the city. Look at this. Mrs. Flambeau supports every worthy charity in existence. Yeah. Well, I said my favorite one. What's that? Toy guns for tots. a complaint against you as we speak right now, Hammer. Said you turned a simple questioning session into a full-fledged carnival, Hammer. There were just the two of us. I mean, there was no trapeze act, no elephants. It had the flavor of a carnival. Captain Trunk, uh, Hammer has managed to obtain vital information. Shut up, Doro. You keep defending this buffoon's actions, and you're going to be in hot water, too. Well, the traitor is the wife. What, Mrs. Flambeau? That's right. The wife kidnapped her own innocent daughter. I'm going to go have a chat with her. Look, Hammer, I totally disagree with this theory, but as your partner, I'm prepared to back you up 100%. Let me go with you. I'm just going to make a few calls. I like her. Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just... My wife? That's absurd. Trust me. 
I know what I'm doing. Sorry about the handcuffs, sir, but she resisted arrest. She's quite a fighter. Well, I guess you know that. Deceitful, no good piece of white trash. Oh, I've known that for years. But she had nothing to do with the kidnapping. Chief, put this numbskull back on suspension for the rest of his life. Oh, wait, I don't understand. I've just had a call from the kidnappers. Aha. Uh -huh. They've given me a drop off location and a demand for a private jet. Aha. Uh -huh. I have no course now but to capitulate. Mm. Thanks to you. Duro, I want you to deliver the ransom to them. Wait a minute, whoever that messenger is is probably going to get killed. Let me do it. That sounds like a terrific idea. No. The last thing I need in my hands now is a shootout. Hammer, I'm ordering you to return to your apartment and to stay there. I'm sorry, I'll have to ask for your badge. Now get out! Be careful, Darrell. I will, Hammer. Tramp. And you'll be escorting us to that jet, too. Not until I see the Francine Flambeau is safe. Police! Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. How are you doing, Francine? I haven't eaten in a day and a half, and I missed last night's dynasty. <laughs> but this person is clean. You can drop the victimized society girl routine accomplice in your own abduction. <laughs> Just what are you talking about, Pig? Financial records gave me the name of the college that Francine attended four years ago. You attended at the exact same time, Luxley. My hunch is that you two know each other and are an item. I applaud your ingenuity. See, I loathe my father. And now I'll escape from under his fascist thumb, alone with my lover, my comrades, and one million dollars. Perfect plan, Francine. And once we're safely away, I'll kill you myself. You'd kill me for a briefcase full of shredded paper? That's why. You're dead, man. You may be right. All right, let's get this over with. I got an aerobics class in the morning. You just ruined my best sports jacket. No, I'm really mad.
You deserve a good spanking, really. Drop the gun or this bride gets it. Please be my guest. Go ahead, kill her. And then I'll just go ahead and kill you. She's serious, Hammer. I'm sure she is, Dory. And as a policewoman, I know you're prepared to die in the line of duty. All right, Stud. It's just you and me. Now drop the gun this instant. I know you'd never shoot at a woman. Sorry, Francine. Call me a feminist. Does that hurt? Anytime a really nice sports jacket gets ruined, it hurts. Thank goodness you followed me here. No, don't thank goodness. Thank gun. Thanks, Lich. Enough warmth. My own daughter. Just like her mother. An idiot. Nevertheless, Duro, congratulations on a job well done. Thank you, sir, but I can't take all the credit myself. Yeah, you can. Detective Duro, in a few moments, it'll be my great pleasure to present you with a full promotion. What about Hammer? He backed me up. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. Hammer broke the rules. He will remain on suspension. That's not fair. Oh, stop worrying about Hammer. You concern yourself with your own career. Now, come on, let's get going. There are 50 reporters waiting outside. Here's your acceptance speech. Basically, it just says how much you admire my administration and how well you think I react in the fire. I wrote it myself. Thank you, sir. I respectfully decline the promotion. What? Am I hearing correctly? Uh, oh. Seems like you're hearing pretty well. Let's go, partner. Daru, you're off your rocker. True. But I know what I'm doing. <laughs>